Oh, what are you drinking, little kitty? Energy. Hmm, it's better you sip some natural sources of energy than artificial ones. Why? That's an excellent question. So, in today's episode, let me take you to this energetic world of energy and look at the sources of energy. Zoom in! Before we look into the energy sources, let us see what energy is in the first place. Well, according to the classical definition, energy is the ability to do work. You can learn more about its definition from our video on the same topic. So please, check that whenever possible. But the vital question is, from where do we get so much energy? Well, according to the law of conservation of energy, energy can neither be created nor be destroyed. It can only be wasted. <laughs> Sorry, bad joke. But it may be transformed from one form to another. And if you take all forms of energy into account, the total energy of an isolated or closed system like the universe always remains constant. How? We can learn more about it by observing how the sources of energy work which can be classified into two forms – renewable and non-renewable sources of energy. And what are they? Renewable source is a natural resource that causes no impact on nature. They are available in abundance in nature and are sustainable. These resources of energy can be naturally refilled and are safe for the environment. Good examples of renewable sources of energy are solar energy, wind energy, biomass, geothermal energy and hydropower energy. So, let us look at them one by one, starting with solar energy. The heat and light we receive from the sun are solar energy. This energy is then converted into electric energy with the help of solar panels. Also, it can be converted to thermal energy to heat our homes or water. Next comes another unlimited source called wind energy, which is produced through the wind. This wind can be harnessed and converted into electricity using man-made structures called wind turbines that can light up our houses and schools. To know how it works, please check out our video, How Do Wind Turbines Work? afterwards. Now, let us look into biomass, which is renewable organic matter that comes from plants and animals. Examples of biomass include wood, crops and animal waste that can be turned into fuel. Next on the list is geothermal energy that comes from the heat inside the earth. It can be used to produce electricity, heat homes and buildings and provide hot water. Speaking of water, moving water can also produce energy in the form of hydropower that can generate electricity. It is one of the oldest and largest sources of renewable energy that is available in plenty on Earth. But what is limited is non-renewable sources of energy that can run out of supply as time passes. Some examples of these are natural gas, coal, petroleum, nuclear energy and hydrocarbon gas liquids. These are not only exhaustible but can have an impact on the environment by causing pollution. So. It's vital to limit our dependency on non-renewable sources of energy and find an alternative solution with the help of renewable source of energy as a way to help reduce and avoid carbon dioxide emissions for a better and safer future. Trim!
have your time. Did you know the word energy is derived from the ancient Greek word energia? Yes, this word was created by Aristotle in 384 BC. Hope you learned something energetically vital today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Kitty brings natural energy. Never mind.